Introduction How are you, John? I am fine. You're looking in tension. What's the matter? Yesterday my sister asked me a question and I could not answer it. What was the question? May I help you solve it? She asked what they are which give us fruits, they give us wood, which can grow on land as well as in water also, which are found in homes as well as in forests also. It's simple, dear. They are called plants. Objectives At the end of this course, you'll be able to Describe different types of plants Explain main parts of a plant List the significance of plants Hello friends, I am Sam. Do you know that plants are also our friends as they give us food and many other useful things? Besides this, they also give us shade. They are also living like us. They need their own food and water to live and grow. They also have ability to grow and become tall like us. Children, we often see different types of plants around us. We find that some of the plants are tall while some are small. Plants which are very tall and strong are called trees. For example, mango tree, coconut tree and neem are tall. Plants which are smaller than trees are called shrubs, such as rose and sunflower plant. Besides, some plants are very small and are called herbs. Brinjal and spinach are the example of herbs. Friends, you'll be surprised to know that some plants cannot stand straight and they need support to stand. Such plants are known as climbers and creepers. Climbers grow up taking support. For example, a money plant. Creepers grow along the ground such as pumpkin and watermelon. Friends, now it's time to have some fun. Drag and drop the following plants into their respective boxes. Friends, let us discuss various parts of a plant. The main parts of a plant are roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. Let us know them one by one in more detail. Roots are the lower part of a plant. They grow in soil and help the plants to get water and minerals from the soil. The next part of plant is a stem. A stem is the hard part of plant which grows above the ground. It bears leaves, fruits and flowers. A stem also supports plants. Friends, do you know which part of plant help them to prepare food? That's right, it is the leaves. Leaves are green in color that are born out of a stem. Friends, now let's know about the most attractive and most beautiful part of the plant. Yes, that is the flower. Flowers are of different colors and types like sunflower, rose and dahlia and so on. I know that most of you also like fruits. Fruit is the juicy part of the plant. Fruits come in different shapes, sizes and colors like banana, mango and apple and oranges. When we cut an apple, what do we see at the center? Yes, absolutely right. We see small dark brown seeds. Other fruits have seeds inside them such as papaya and mango. Do you know that a new plant grows from a seed? Kids, as we know that we get our food items from the plants. Besides the food items, we also get many other things from plants. Many medicines and perfumes are made from plants. Plants also give us wood. In some places, houses are made up of wood. Friends, now let's check your understanding. Match the parts of plants with their functions. Summary Now friends, let us summarize what we have learned so far. Like us, plants are also living things. There are many kinds of plants like trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. The main parts of a plant are roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits.
Plants give us food, wood, oil, medicine and fresh air to breathe. 